Chapter 10. Jews shall crucify their God. They shall be scattered until they begin to believe in him. America shall be a land of liberty, where no king shall rule. Be reconciled to God and gain salvation through his grace. This is page 78. And now I, Jacob, speak unto you again. This is, this is Nephi, the second of Nephi, chapter 10, page 78. And now I, Jacob, speak unto you again, my beloved brethren, concerning this righteous branch of which I have spoken to. For behold, the promises which have obtained are promises unto us according to the flesh. Wherefore, as it has been shown unto me that many of our children shall perish in the flesh because of unbelief, nevertheless God will be merciful unto many, and our children shall be restored, and that they may come to that which will give them the true knowledge of their Redeemer. Three, wherefore, as I said unto you, it must needs be expense that Christ, before in the last night of the angels spake unto me, that this should be his name, should come among the Jews, among those who are the more wicked part of the world, and shall crucify him for thus it behooveth our God, that there is none other nation on earth that would crucify their God. For, for should the mighty miracles be wrought among other nations, they would repent, and now know that he be their God. Five, because there, because, but because of priestcrafts and iniquities, they at Jerusalem will strive in their necks against him, that he be crucified. Six, wherefore, because of their iniquities and destructions, famines, pestilences, and bloodshed shall come upon them, and they shall not be destroyed, shall be scattered among all nations. This is a real weird, sparkly thing. Seven, but behold, thus saith the Lord God, when the day cometh that they shall believe in me, and that I am Christ, then have I convinced it with their fathers, that they shall restore in the flesh upon the earth into the lands of their inheritance. Eight, and the it shall not come to pass that they shall be gathered in from their long dispersion, from the isles of the sea, and from the four parts of earth, and nations of the Gentiles shall be raising eyes of me, save God, and carrying them forth to the land of their inheritance. Nine, yea, the kings of the Gentiles shall be nursing father into, unto them, and their queens shall become nursing mothers. Wherefore the promises of the Lord are raised the Gentiles, where he hath spoken it, and hath cannot dispute. Ten, but behold, this land, said God, shall be a land of thine inheritance, and the Gentiles shall be blessed upon the land. Eleven, and this land shall be a land. 70, page 79, liberty unto the Gentiles, and there shall be no kings upon the land who shall raise up unto the Gentiles. 12, and I will fortify this land against all the nations. 13, and he that fighteth against Zion shall perish, save God. 14, for this raiseth up a king against me shall perish, for I, the Lord, the King of heaven, will be their king, and I will be a light unto them forever. With I hear my words. 15, wherefore this curse that cause and my covenants may be fulfilled, which I have made unto the children of men, that I will do unto them while they are in the flesh, I must needs destroy the secret works of darkness and of murders and of abominations. 16, wherefore he that fighteth against Zion, both you and Gentile, with bond and free, both male and female, shall perish. For they are they who are the poor of all the earth, for they who are not for me are against me, saith our God. 17, for I will fulfill my promises which I have made unto the children of men, that I will do unto them while they are in the flesh. 18, wherefore my beloved brethren, thus saith our God, I will afflict thy seed by the hand of the Gentiles. Nevertheless, I will soften the hearts of the Gentiles, that they shall be like unto fathers of them. Wherefore the Gentiles shall be blessed and numbered among the house of Israel. 19. Wherefore I will consecrate this land unto the seed, and them that who shall be numbered among thy seed, for the land of their inheritance. For it is a choice man, saith God unto me, above all other lands, wherefore I will have all men that dwell thereon, and they shall worship me, saith God. 20. And now, my brother, beloved brethren, seeing that our merciful God has given us so great knowledge concerning these things, let us remember him, and lay aside our sins, and not hang down our heads, for we are not cast off. Nevertheless, we have been driven out of the land of our inheritance, but we have been led to better land, for the Lord has made the sea our path, and we are upon an isle of the sea. 21. But the great are the promises of the Lord unto them who are upon the isles of the sea. Wherefore, as it says, isles, there must needs be more than this, and they are inhabited also by our brethren. 22. For behold, the Lord God led away from time to time from the house of Israel according to his will and pleasure. And now behold, the Lord remembereth all of them who have been broken off. Wherefore, he remembereth us also. 23. Therefore, cheer up your hearts, and remember that you are free to act for yourselves, to choose the way of everlasting death or the way of eternal life. 24. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, reconcile yourselves to the will of God and not to the will of the devil and the flesh. And remember, after you are reconciled unto God, that if only in through the grace of God that ye are saved. 25. Wherefore, may God raise you from death by the power of the resurrection and also the everlasting death by the power of the atonement, and ye may be reconceived, received into the eternal kingdom of God, that ye may also praise him through grace divine. Amen.